All right, everybody, it's TLC Talk. I'm SF. Thank you beyond thank you for listening to the show and welcome new fans. Okay, I'm going to do a whole new episode reintroducing myself, but today we've got to get to the biggest gossip that's happening with your favorite TLC shows, including Darcy Silva from Darcy and Stacy is officially married to Georgie. Yes, they are completely married. How do I know this? Because online, a photographer is saying that they got married in Connecticut and she was asked by Darcy and Darcy's team to film or to give them wedding photos for free. And I'll tell you her answer. We officially have a start date, the premiere for Thousand Pound Sisters, season five. Okay, I'm going to get into that. And, um, ooh, Kim Plath. Did Kim Plath cheat on Barry Plath? Big rumor, big rumor um, on the internet today. So Darcy Silva, I already teased it, and we'll get right into it, is married to Georgie. Can you all believe, like, what? This man, by the way, I'm dying to meet this man, because you all know I, like, got my career And I was in Washington, D.C. for 15 years on the radio and TV there. So Georgie is like a Marylander, has lived in Maryland. He's been a masseuse in the DMV. I have listeners to the Sarah Frazier show who messaged me and were like, I've gotten massages from this man. And that was when the first time he was with Darcy and people did not think he was so committed. Now, I love me some Darcy and Stace. They're getting ready to have their Vegas weekend where you can party with them five star. I wish I could have gone. It was too grand for the VIP experience. However, I can't go and I don't know if it's sold out. So just FYI writes this person, Darcy Silva married Georgie this past weekend in a very tiny private ceremony in Connecticut. I was approached to photograph the wedding last minute, but they accepted, uh, but they expected everyone to do and offer all their services for free. That's not how I support my family. So I passed when her agent, Michael London, who you guys have seen on the show, called me. Even after offering them a discounted rate for a few hours, they still hinted they are were doing their wedding free and they only had a tiny budget. So they are married. It looks like um, ooh, they wanted all their services for free. <laughs> I mean, don't you love... I mean, you know, I love a hustle. I really do. I mean, you know, but that is, look, people do need to pay their bills and that ain't the way to do it. So there you go. Hot off the presses. They are in fact together. Also, Georgie is trending this week because it appears that he has done more, um, procedures. You know, he went to Turkey. He had his, um, teeth done, He had veneers, which I love, but it is true. Georgie does seem like he is going the way of our girls, Darcy and Stacey. And he did a video where he was getting fillers in his cheekbone and his new jawline, um, getting ready for his wedding to Darcy. So he was, um, you know, plucked and filled and tucked. And so was our girl Stace. Congratulations to them. They are officially married. (laughs) Oh my God, Georgie, sweetie, you're so hot. Like, don't go crazy with the fillers. Anyhow, is Kim Plath, did Kim Plath cheat on Barry Plath? You guys, have you seen this popping around the internet? Ah, this tea. So somebody on Reddit started a poll, like a questionnaire poll. Do you think that Kim Plath cheated on Barry? Let's look at the timeline. Now I can save you going to this Reddit and reading about this. I, normally, because I have my own Reddit, just search Sarah Fraser show. You can jump on, start any topic you want around TLC or anything else for that matter. I love a good Reddit, okay? And usually Reddit users are so sharp, they have amazing theories, but there's also some stupid ones. And this one is one of them. Nobody, by, by the way, no one can factually put together a timeline where Kim Plath has cheated on Barry. It's all rumor and speculation. The poll got an 80% yes vote that Kim most likely was seeing Ken, who is Isaac's flight instructor. Isaac is one of their sons. Long before uh, she actually separated with Barry. Now, why do people believe this? They believe this because they think that Kim is just way too comfortable on camera with Ken. Ken also went through a separation and divorce in 2021. So it's very new. I mean, Basically, 2021, they probably started filming 
in, no, 2022. I know that for a fact. They filmed in 2022. So Ken had only been separated for about a year at that point too. People are like, and Kenneth, you know, Kenneth runneth comfortable with like on the show. He is completely cool with kissing Kim like on camera. Like who knew these people in Cairo, Georgia? I mean, Kim never even let her kids have a television until 2018, but boy, she's comfortable on one. I don't think it's true. And a lot of people are surmising, there's no way we can prove this. Like, it's absolutely not, you know, because unless you have some sort of confirmation from someone in the family, there's no way to prove this timeline. Other relationship news, Miona and Jabri. Mm, now, Miona and Jabri, you know them from 90 Day Fiance season nine. We're in 90 Day Fiance season 10. I'm having a hard time getting into this season. I think because I'm so into sister wives and now I'm into the family Chantel. But Miona and Jabri continued to fuel rumors that they are separated after Miona was spotted on her IG story over the weekend with a man's hand at a what looked to be a very romantic dinner. Now, this could be any man's hand, okay? This could be her gay bestie. This could be her, I don't know, could, did her dad come visit? I mean, this could be any man. It does look like a youngish hand, all right? I will say that. But it doesn't necessarily mean, I go on romantic uh, dinners with my fabulous podcast friend, David Yontif. We're not dating. Jabri co continues to be in Thailand on his spiritual journey. You know, he has shaved his head like a monk. Um, I don't know, guys. I, I have... Like, I don't have a clear reading on this one because I wouldn't be shocked if these two are going to appear on 90 Day Fiance Last Resort Season 2. 90 Day Fiance Last Resort was an enormous hit for TLC, um, which featured Big Ed and Liz, Angela Deem and Michael, um, Asuelu and Kalani. And of course, Kalani has moved on to her new man, Dallas. I wouldn't be surprised if they are courting to be on Last Resort, but also... I have been in communication with Jabri and I'm not sure that he wants to continue on the 90 day path. I'll just say that. So if you all want to be investigators on Miona's Instagram, by all means, go for it. She does look booked and busy. She looks gorgeous. I mean, I guess if they're separated or taking a break from each other, she's hanging out in Palm Springs for now. I got to ride down and see her. I'm only like two hours away. Um, April Carter from 90 Day Fiance Franchise is responding to Jen and Rishi and Jen going on her social media last week saying that April Carter was involved in their relationship and one of the reasons that Jen and Rishi broke up. And she would not be surprised if the old Rishmeister was with April Carter. Now, April Carter went on her Instagram this week to say that Jen is bitter because Rishi and Jen were being courted for a 90 day fiance um, series. Um, I don't know if, oh, I think 90 day fiance happily ever after, maybe one of these upcoming seasons. Jen even was trying to make plans to go see Rishi, keep things going. And April has insinuated that Rishi wants nothing to do with Jen. April says, April says that she is single. April goes, I'm single, but she doesn't deny or confirm if she's actually with Rishi. So um, yeah, there's that. Okay. Like I, you know, was, did April come between Rishi and Jen? I don't know, but they, she certainly doesn't deny that they hang out, they're friendly and they are in communication. And she certainly kind of comes for Jen saying that Jen only is doing these videos trashing Rishi and saying that Rishi is seeing other people because they were supposed to star in a franchise and they're not going to star in a franchise. Okay. Um, let's get into Thousand Pound Sisters. Thousand Pound Sisters, season five is coming out December 12th. We have a release date. Oh, you guys. This is going to be as big as Sister Wives. Sister Wives, Number one show, I say it, number one show far and away for women, 2554, above all else, above Housewives, about, above any other show. Enormous ratings this season, okay? But I will tell you, I think that Thousand Pounders are going, it's going to be such huge ratings because this season it is confirmed that we are going to see the demise of Amy Holterman and Michael Holterman's marriage. 
there was, you know, they, at one point they had a brief restraining order against each other because things allegedly got physical between Michael and the boys. I mean, these boys are so tiny. I don't know if Amy was there. We're going to find out. Um, Tammy Slayton's husband passed away, Caleb. We're going to see Tammy leaving rehab. We're going to see the passing of Caleb Willingham. Um, on top of that, we are going to see such a huge physical altercation between Amy, Tammy, their sister, Amanda, and Chris down in Florida that filming had to stop because the filming crew was so traumatized. <laughs> now let's watch the trailer together December 5th. And then I have a comment to make about this because it's, um, Tammy had sort of told fans that we weren't getting a brand new season and that's not exactly accurate. Oh my God. They've been in rehab for 14 months. Okay. And now that my trick is out, I get to go home. My trick. This season on 1,000 Pound Sister. Yeah. They're not going to approve me to go home. Oh boy. I can't imagine walking out of this place without my husband, but I lost almost 300 pounds. And go I had to call him the rare one. Bitch! What? Yeah, what's up? You so long. Ew. Oh. You got two children. I thought you knew how to handle a picture. See, the bigger picture. See, you've been around a lot of pickles. Put them in a trash bag. Okay. Y'all look dumb as hell. Get ready, bitches. Y'all go sweat today. Me and Misty's been going to see Dr. Smith. If Amanda and Misty get a uh, the whole family Smith. weight loss surgery. Do we got a family discount? <laughs> Eight, one, no. I am very overwhelmed, distressed out, and uh -oh. Michael ain't doing oh. every aspect of my life is chaos oh. because I have no support. If you don't fix the things that are wrong, it's not going to end well for you. The way in was five thirty-seven. Oh, it bothers me that he's backside. I don't know if he has the strength to do this on his own. Oh, no. I'm just exhausted all the time because I'm trying to take care of two boys and take care of the house. You have a husband that is perfectly capable of taking care of these kids for you to have a moment. I feel like I got my breaking point. Oh, boy. Give her her money. I ain't giving You got two seconds to give her the debit card. No, he's home, got two please. seconds to get in. Get out of my house. All right, now. You get out of my house. Make me. I'm going to go. I don't Put your hands on me. Put me out. Back up. No. I didn't know I'm coming home. Or I was going to fall apart. Oh my God. Okay, I mean, I, maybe they remind me of everybody I knew in Maine. I love Thousand Pound Sisters. They are back December 12th on TLC. Uh, you better believe I'll be doing recaps. This show is so damn good and it's going to be a hell of a season. A hell of a season. Okay. Yes. Do we need subtitles for everything they're saying? A hundred percent. And you can always watch my podcast reviews on YouTube as well, because um, <laughs> you'll be able to see them there. Oh, the subtitles. Because I didn't understand half of what they were saying. And I was trying to read the subtitles.